For the 500th consecutive day of the Trump presidency, there is drama coming out of this administration. After the Super Bowl, it's customary for the winning team to visit the White House. You know, the same way in England, how the winner of Wimbledon gets to arm wrestle the queen, yeah? <laughs> she wins every time. That's why she's still the queen. Well, anyways, uh, this year, most of the Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles said that they would not be visiting President Trump. And so the president replied, I broke up with you first. Instead of being stood up, President Trump is backing out. He disinvited the Philadelphia Eagles from visiting the White House today after reports fewer than 10 players plan to attend the ceremony celebrating their Super Bowl victory. The president tweeting, unfortunately, only a small number of players decided to come and we canceled the event. Huh, that's weird. Trump is canceling events if a lot of people aren't showing up. That must be a new policy. Huh. <laughs> Can we, uh... Can we just acknowledge how weird it is that under Trump, no one wants to visit the White House anymore, right? The Golden State Warriors wouldn't go last year. The Eagles won't go this year. In fact, the Cleveland Browns released a statement saying the only reason they've never won the Super Bowl <laughs> is because they don't want to meet Trump. Yeah, apparently they're not losing, they're hashtag resisting. <laughs> It's gotten so bad that, like, they, they can't get anyone to visit. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, Jared Kushner is gonna be on the corner trying to get people in. It's just like, come on to the White House! Ladies, get in free! <laughs> and now, if, if you were the president and, like, 40 out of 50 players said that they weren't coming to your party, you'd probably be embarrassed, right? Or, or you'd come up with a crafty excuse about how those players didn't stand you up, they stood America up. Donald Trump saying the Eagles disagree with their president because he insists that they proudly stand for the national anthem, adding the team wanted to send a smaller delegation, but fans deserve better. The White House has now rebranded the day as a celebration of America. The president invited fans to attend a different celebration, one that he says will honor our great country and loudly and proudly play the national anthem. He's simple, but he's brilliant. Yeah. Think about it, whenever Trump is losing an argument, he just grabs the anthem and then he holds it in front of himself. That's all he does. He just holds it in front of himself like, you wouldn't hurt the anthem, would you? Would you? Uh, it's the anthem. <laughs> he probably uses the anthem to win arguments all the time. Melania is probably like, not tonight, Donald. I'm not in the mood. And Donald's like, oh, say, can you see? That doesn't work for me. I'm from Slovenia. <laughs> so instead of throwing an eagle celebration, the president hosted an anthem party. And if you're thinking, I've never heard of an anthem party, yeah, there's no such thing. But still, <laughs> it featured all your favorite sports stars, like Mike Pence and Secretary of the Treasury Steve the Nooch Mnuchin. You know, and you would think that if you invited people over for a patriotism party, you would at least know the words to America's favorite songs. From the mountains to the Look, I mean, the song's only been around for 100 years. He hasn't had time to learn the words. Don't judge him. And you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, like, I'm tired of this whole Trump anthem kneeling debate, right? He says he's outraged that the players disrespect the flag and the anthem. But the truth is, last year, the Eagles never even ran that play. During the regular season, the postseason, there was never an instant of a Philadelphia Eagles player getting down on a kneel during the national anthem. The Eagles were not among the players who kneeled for the national anthem. I'm starting to think that President Trump might be full of shits. <laughs> I'm starting to think that. <laughs> I, look, the truth is, we know he cares less about NFL players, quote, unquote, disrespecting America than he does about just keeping the issue going because it works for him politically. Because Trump bragged to the owner of the Dallas Cowboys that, quote, this is a very winning, strong issue for me. This one lifts me. It's like the anthem is Patrick Swayze and I'm baby. It lifts me. 